I'm going to show how you can get started working with Framer in Firebase. This is the default Framer Studio file showing the icon transitioning through states. And we open up the Firebase tutorial and step one has this script line that we can copy into our index.html file. And now we can go back to this tutorial and step two has this JavaScript line. And we can copy that into our Framer file and change it to CoffeeScript. And this line creates a Firebase reference that we can use. And you'll get a different address if you follow this demo. It just creates this temporary address. And now we can add to our click event. After the icon state transition, we'll create a variable for that state and store it in our Firebase reference. And now we can add an event to our Firebase reference. This value event watches for changes. When it changes, we'll do the icon event state switch. And in Framer Studio, it doesn't look like anything's changed. But the cool thing is we can open it up in another browser. And you can see that the state stays synced between the devices. And we can open another browser, and it gets cooler as you open up more. And you can see that it's just synced between everything. And this is the iOS simulator now. And now I can even pull it up on my device. And here I have an iPhone 6. And you can see that things are staying synced between the iPhone and the browsers. Firebase and Framer is a really great combination, and I hope this helps get you started.